This is the last thing the narcissist wants you to do. This is something the narcissist does not want you to do. But it's also the quickest way for you to get your power back. You met the narcissist. And you ended up liking them. But it's not a good thing. Because it's where the loss of your power, prosperity and status begins. You're liking them too soon. You're too eager for it to happen. You're putting all of your eggs in one basket. You're risking everything you have on the success of one thing. When you should be exploring other options. Because they made you suddenly become very attracted to them. They swept you off your feet. They got you at their beck and call. To where you're ready to react to their commands without a delay. Because you believe you found someone who could be of considerable importance and worth to you. So you're in a state of happiness and excitement. A feeling of great enthusiasm and eagerness. You're infatuated with them. But they're just sitting back and observing the effects of the heaven on you. They're observing how they're affecting you mentally and emotionally. Because you like them a lot. So you're willing to overlook certain things. You're willing to not do anything about their mistakes or bad behavior because you really like them. And you want to show them that you're the best choice for them too. But you act before the proper and appropriate time. You disclose your intentions too soon. So now, you've already messed up. Because they can just hold you out. They can refuse to give help or information to you. They can refuse to accept something which they don't think is good enough. They can refuse your offer and wait for a better one because you disclosed your intentions too soon. You overreacted and once they see that you're willingly handing your power over to them, they're going to take advantage of it. They're going to exploit it. But there is a way for you to get your power back. Although it may be something that you don't want to do because you really like and want them. But the one thing you really need to do is just to let them go. Because even when you witnessed their bad behavior, you didn't want to let go. You didn't want to walk away. And by you not doing that, it gave them an advantage over you because you kept yourself locked in. You didn't let go, you didn't walk away. You stayed, but this is what narcissists will use against you. If they see that you're really into them. If they see that you're too afraid of walking away. Because you fear losing something good. Which results in you handing your power over to them. And then they see that you're liking them a lot more than you should. Because they haven't made enough effort. They haven't given you anything of enough worth or importance. That justifies you being involved with them in the first place. So they will feel like they can play with you. They will feel like they can engage with you for enjoyment and recreation. Rather than a serious or practical purpose. They will feel like they can do things that give them an advantage over you. Where they can turn things into a different direction because they've got you open. Where you're completely committed to and very much in favor of them because you don't want to walk away.
you feel like if you walk away then you're going to lose something good and then someone else is going to have it but you're being deceived because you don't have enough information about them anyway you don't know what they're going to be like or how they're going to treat you if you ever did get involved with them all you have is their words when really you just need to recognize that they are causing things to develop in a way where you are being hurt and then once you see that you need to be able to walk away you need to let go because then it will make their manipulation ineffective to where they will no longer be able to use or control you because that's what they're looking for in a target or victim They want to see how much tolerance you have for unfair treatment because they already know that what they're doing is unfair. They just want to see how you're going to react to it. They want to see if you're still going to stick around. And if you do, they know they've got you under their spell. They've got you wrapped around their finger to where you're completely under their control because they're always testing you to see if they have an advantage over you because they already know that with the things that they're doing you should be walking away you should be letting them go and you should have never looked back because they're fine with that they don't care if you go because then they're just removing people who are not suitable People who they don't need because they're trying to find a suitable victim by eliminating people who aren't going to tolerate their behavior they already know what they want so they will test you to see how much you're willing to put up with but when they do that you should just go you should leave them and forget about them because whatever they're doing you should be sure that there's more of that to come they're not just going to change and become a better person if you decide to stay it's only going to get worse once they know that you're willing to put up with it so you have to be fine with leaving and never looking back without second guessing yourself because they will try to come back they will try to test you if they pushed you too far to see if you're really done they may even apologize but if you give them another chance then they know they've got you instead you need to show them that you're not willing to play their childish games you need to show them that they blew their chance and then you need to keep your head up and keep going even if, for whatever reason, you're still talking to them. You need to demote them from the higher position that they previously had with you. You need to stop taking them seriously. See them as recreational use. Something you engage in when you're bored. Because they've already shown you that they're not deserving of a higher position or a better treatment. So you need to demote them to a position at a level of treatment that is more suitable for them. After they tried something like that, after they tried to test you, because they shouldn't have tried to do that to you, so that's how you've got to deal with it, because they will test you, you've just got to respond to it the right way, by walking away and letting them go, and by not second guessing yourself. Because that is how you will get your power back and it will prevent you from getting caught up in things that are not going to be good for you because it can be difficult to determine the difference between what is good and what is bad because they don't do it right away they wait until you like them enough and then they make their move 
then they start running game. Because now you like them. So they want to see how bad do you want them. How much can they push you? How strong are you? And that is why you've just got to walk away. Because they're going to continue to test you. And it's only going to get worse. You're never going to have any peace or rest. As long as they're in your life. You're always going to be on edge. You're always going to be waiting for the other shoe to drop. You're never going to feel safe or comfortable. As long as they're around. So walk away and continue along your journey. Let them find someone who is more suitable for them. Someone who is willing to play their fool and play their game. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor the code UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.